Hey everyone, so we got my dad, Sauger, is in the back too. Uh, we are actually in uh, Vernon right now, I guess. Um, we're going on a little bit of a trip to go buy some wood. So you guys may remember last year we did a video with this guy named Jerry. He came from BC and cut up Clara Walnut Burls for him. He lives out here and we're going to see him at his place and pick out some of the wood he's bought. So we were, we're actually just fishing right now. Um, probably gonna... Probably gonna go do more fishing. Oh yeah, struck out that time there, but we're uh, we're learning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're gonna go try our luck at another spot, and then tomorrow's the big wood buying day. All right, everyone. Well, we uh, we're actually near Jerry's place now. He's in kind of an interesting location. There's this old abandoned glass factory here. Roll the window down. Old abandoned glass factory, and then Jerry's place, I guess, is somewhere down there, back somewhere, behind yeah. here. It's kind of cool. Yeah. So look what he teases us with right when we walk Bastard, in. Yeah. That's a plant. Yeah, yeah, plant. Yeah, I bet it is. I absolutely love that piece. It's just wow. absolutely amazing. I don't usually finish stuff, but I had to do that one. Yeah. Just to see how it went. Planted and, uh, it. Yeah, so uh, this is more the softwood side, but I do have Elm World City going on for you guys right now. Mm -hmm. So there's a, a fair amount of elm in Look here. At this. this is all pine? That is uh, spruce, actually, if you can believe it. It's got figure in it, too. Huh. Like, look around the knots. It's Little crazy. Bit, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, that was actually a brow log. So the joke was uh, I was milling at a mill, cleaning it up, and I said, what the heck am I doing here milling these little logs? I should be milling the biggest log first and working my way down. And the guy's okay. like, okay. <laughs> Let's go find it. I'm like, cool. Yeah. So we were walking around. The biggest log happened to be the brow log for the logging truck. So they roll yeah. up a logging truck and then they unload and they want this log right next to it so that when they come in with the equipment, they've got something nice and stable and firm. And if the logs fall down, mm -hmm. they hit this log and they don't okay. come back and hit the truck. Okay. So that was the biggest log there. Okay. And it was <laughs> massive. So we diced off, you know, a 10 foot wow. section off the end. Nice. And uh, that's what I found in it. It was unbelievably solid. Sweet. And that thing had been down in the ground for I don't know how long. Really? Uh, yeah. So yeah. Yeah, so going around, there's all kinds of odds and ends. I do have boards and stuff too. I mean, yeah. You know, I was messing around with that. That came out of the shop fire. That was uh, whoa. A fair amount of wood out of that, and a lot of tools and stuff. But uh, I grabbed a few pieces out of there. It was <laughs> this one was sitting right next to a freshly mixed jerry can of chainsaw gas, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> so, but I thought it'd be super cool to do like a flood epoxy or something on that, like yeah, you know. Art often involves pain. Oh, by the way, anything black is going to make you black. So touch it, you're going to be. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, that. That's that. a cool texture, though, man. I I look just when I saw that, I was like, oh, uh, I can't throw that up. No. You know, so like, what fire are you talking about? That's shop fire down in the mill. So they lost a, a new guy came in. He was trying to be nice. He cleaned up the uh, the chop saw bench and he stuffed uh, the wood so full, and then he left. And nobody was in the shop. So it just got roasting hot. Lit the wall on fire and boof, it went. So. Um, yeah, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Yeah. I'm looking at all this wood, man. I'm just yeah. like, holy sh Jerry. You want to see the good stuff? <laughs> yeah, let's see the good stuff. Wow, this is a man with one. a problem, right? <laughs> it's a good problem to have. Yeah. It is. Here and there. That's primo. Yeah. Yeah, there's some pretty big, thick stuff. Oh, that's that Manitoba maple. Or, you sorry, sent us pictures of those. Husqvarna maple, as I yeah. call it. It did fade a lot, though. Oh, it um, does? Yeah, so... It's still the, beautiful. The slabs are all in the kiln. The cookies I didn't put in the kiln. I was going to leave them to try to, like, take their time. Because I'm pretty sure they'll just explode if I put them in the kiln. Yeah, likely. It probably yeah, would. Likely, yeah. yeah. I mean, if, if oh, they... here's the beauties. Okay. Yeah, I know this is funny because you guys are fairly impressed, but most people are a lot more impressed. <laughs> wow. You guys have been in like I know some crazy places. We like, have really been. So cool. The question in here right. is not so checking the football last football. plan out. It's how many football fields can you fit in here? Whoa. So this was a glass plant. The hot zone is over there. We'll go look at that in a bit. And then they had multiple levels. This is actually multiple floors in this area. And that was, I believe, where they processed all the bottles. And then they would take them over there and do all the packaging and such as well. And now look how far down that goes. Ooh. Wow. So right now there is a modular home builder in the very far end. And I mean, okay. they're building whole houses back there. And it's like you could, oh, yeah, there's a house. Is there's there's a someone house, like, down there? Yeah, look yeah. at that. Yeah. yeah. So it's a pretty cool, like, I don't know, I, I can't take you too many places. But uh, when James is with us, he can take you all around. 
and okay. you can see some pretty cool stuff. So just because it's not safe, or you're not allowed. Yeah, it's yeah. an insurance thing. So, yeah. Um, now you would. Yeah, you guys want to go see some more? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So this is Project Alley. So oh wow. This is where we've got some stuff that's kind of in the works on the go. This is a base that my fabricator made his first, and he was like, oh, let me try and see what I can do. Nice. And so he started doing all kinds of funny stuff, like hiding hardware. The feet are double supported, so there's actually two threaded sections that it goes into. So it's not just one, it's got one and then another. Nice. And it's like way overkill. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it just shows that the guy is like, just, he, he's pretty good. And, uh, and yeah, so like, that was one that he was doing. These are some of those maple slabs. So that's how they finish up. Pretty nice. Well, that's why I needed those four sanders. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely helped to get these guys to smooth. So they're, oh, I they're bet. Flat, but they're actually not flat, they're contoured. So I've actually tried to make them smooth enough, and, and then when you feel them, you actually feel the grain. So yes. as you actually yes. run your hand over it, you'll actually feel like this one's really cool. When this is sitting up, there's like oh, a big yeah. groove, this dark streak right here, it goes right into the knot. So if you feel that and you sweep your hand right down. Oh yeah, it yeah. falls right so in when, there. And what I did was I stood in front of it and I just went like this. <laughs> and just kept on going until it gave this beautiful, nice smooth curve. Nice. And then you take your hand and you sweep it over, it's like, oh yeah. So, <laughs> so that one might be a desk, it might be a, a headboard, it might be something like that. Those are cool, more maple. Yeah. More maple, yeah. Nice. That one was uh, no free lunch. There's a good story on that. <laughs> this is more of that royal oak. Ooh, the royal oak. Yeah, soon got some uh, pretty cool figuring in there as well. Yeah, look at this that. This is a little tiny piece of that stump I was telling you about mm -hmm. that actually had a split and it broke off, but that's okay. how wide this stupid thing was. It's massive. Wow. Yeah. A little bit more of that elm. Yeah. Probably one of the nastiest spikes I've ever hit. That's a square nail. So that puts a date on it. All right. Yeah. This is the sketchy note. Whoa. Yeah, so I'm gonna talk about like, whoa, where's the movie music right now? Huh? This is literally like from a horror movie or something. There's been three movies shot here, yeah. Really? Yeah. I kind of feel this. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty this crazy is cool, session, right? man. Wow. Yeah, there's a big vacuum tank over there that you can barely see the outline. There's very yeah. lucky sticks. There's just so much cool stuff around here. So that's the thing. These guys want a table that's kind of like really a lot of history to it. Yeah. So we're gonna make a table base out of good last time. So that's wow. Sweet. That's cool. Yeah. Sweet, eh? Hey everyone, so it is day two now out in Okanagan Paradise with Jerry and we're actually buying some wood yeah. today. So this is just, we've just barely started. Uh, these are some elm pieces that we're gonna be picking out. Really nice color. Really good thickness too. These are like four inch thick slabs, so that's what we like to see. And then my dad, Sauger, and Jerry are inside looking at some more wood. Let's check it out. Almost 30, in I'm thinking 30 inches here. It's 24 down there, Yeah. right? 24, and it's that big up there. And it weighs back pretty good to there. So I'm thinking 30 inches on that one. Is that right. a little shy or? That's a little shy for the size. 32, one, but, uh, 32, 30 okay, something. 32 it is, yeah. Yeah. There's the pair to it as well. Okay, so you got a nice mesh. Yeah. Oh, beauty. Yeah. There you go. Okay. 32. Yeah, I remember lugging these things around on my own. <laughs> so, for the people on YouTube, I know you already told us, Jerry, but yeah. tell them the story of this tree. Okay, so this is one of the oldest trees in Armstrong, and uh, it got taken down for development. And uh, I, it's actually a multiple part story. So, I got told about it initially, and I remember driving by and there's this little farmhouse and a pile of trees. There's two <laughs> trees that came down and it was just obscene and it was just like, oh no way. I, it was just too big, too much. And, uh, and so passing time, uh, a few years later, now I have a mill and uh, a guy comes to me and he says, I've got a really cool project. I, I'm doing this uh, floating staircase. I want to stack solid stair treads, eight inches thick, 16 inches deep, four feet wide. And I need these trees milled up. I've got the wood. And so uh, he brings me some wood, and we try to get all the stair treads out of it. He needs 16 of these things. And, uh, and I could not. 
So we were trying to find good solid wood in there, and there's, as you can see, a lot of amazing character, but not the greatest for solid stair treads. Yeah. So we're working through it, and he goes, oh, well, it's okay, I got more. And he tells me where, and I'm like, I know that tree. <laughs> and so it was funny how it came back around. So it took me quite a while to mill up a ton of wood, but I did end up getting them all stair treads. And uh, I did end up getting a lot of wood out of the deal as well. That was really, really cool stuff. A yeah. Lot of character, and it's got a great story to it. You know. Yeah. The people that had the property were so happy because their tractor couldn't even lift it. <laughs> Nothing could move it. So they were just like, we don't even know what we're gonna do to get this wood out of here. And I came along and make it disappear. And uh, that's so your they magic. Were super happy. The guy was awesome. Yeah. It was a really good scenario. And, uh, oh, and look sweet. at the wood. It's like just. Gorgeous. It is stunning. Yeah, this yeah. is one of the trees, and then there's another tree that's got a little bit different character to it. So that's this guy right here, and it is a lot more Ooh. dark, a lot more purples. Uh, burly is... Oh, it yeah. is burly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you look at that one, you look at that one. And, um, here, I'll show you. There's a few pieces that are kind of hiding that I didn't really want you to see. <laughs> this guy. Holy shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you guys are going to want them. Oh, Jerry, what are you doing to us? <laughs> Man, I know. That yeah, is cool. Those ones are super cool. It is so dark, this stuff. Yeah, it's a really interesting wood. I haven't seen much else like it, and it's got lots of really cool burls. And look at the upside down mushroom. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah. These ones are just under eight feet. I'm just wondering if we should just lay them right on the trailer, going crossways. Or should we wait and put these on first? Maybe we should try and get these on the on the bottom of the trailer. Two of them. What do you think of that on the very bottom? Yeah. How thick are these guys? Uh, these ones are a little thinner. Those are like a three. Pretty dry. They don't feel how. They don't feel. Well. Uh, how did long ago did you cut these? Oh, uh, that would have been last. It's over a year ago now. Um, May, I believe, last May. No kiln? No. No. Okay. no, no, these ones were ones actually I was going to be sending up to the kiln. No, that one's cupped really bad. Uh, there's a fair amount of them in there too. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, it's pretty these colorful ones? stuff. These ones here. Yeah. Should we yeah, wait till they uh, go in the kiln? These years. haven't gone to the kiln? No, they haven't. This okay. is actually a little bit more of it. You want to see what the, uh, the character's like. It's okay. Crazy green color to it, and it's got a lot of pink going on. So, <laughs> losing <Or> some? <laughs> no, I'm gonna oh, just stuff up there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of elm got some big boys in there those are like over four feet wide really kind of cool cool grain in these some longer pieces too basically cleared out this whole section now let's see what else we can find now we're getting into the rainbow maple okay this stuff is super pretty lots of pinks lots of crazy colors going on with it so Tell us about tree. this. Is it dry? Uh, so this is a tree that was a guy bought a place in Kelowna. Wanted to build his mansion on an orchard and he loved the tree but he couldn't save it. Unfortunately it was all rotted. That's the big, big, big stuff that's all outside. That's okay. the base of that tree. And so he had to take it down with a crane. It sat for two or three years before I got connected with him. And, uh, and then I got into milling it. So this is the one that took 12 days on site. And oh, that's this one. Yeah, that's this one. This is the one I had to haul away bark and gravel because I said I'd clean up. And, uh, <laughs> uh, but it was pretty cool wood and uh, the color on it is really good. I I've had people work with it already and, uh, and they said that it was great. Um, so there's I can't some say... punk in it, right? Oh yeah, yeah that, some, you, know, you got some, some rotty rot ones in there. That's the one yeah. I was telling you, you're going to get some of that like crazy disfiguring. Yeah. So. Here, I'll walk a few out and you can take a look at them. But it's flat. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually, that's the thing is it stayed really good. It's actually some of the better wood that I've ever milled. 
for that. So I think it did a little cup on this one. Yeah, a little you bit. See, that's what happens too, Jerry. So when you surface one side of it, yeah. you change the rate of, of uh, let's say, climatization. Okay. Because you've got different textures on two faces, and so one side yeah. will tend to dry out more or shrink more than the other. But but they're they're really colorful and uh, very colorful. Well, people like that. Yeah. They do. Like these would be nice. Those two slabs as this river table together. Okay. Yeah, there's that a could. A lot of matching stuff in here too, because there hasn't really been a whole lot of this is gone. So. And this whole log is part of the. Well, there's quite a bit of that. This creep. year. Yeah, yeah. It's all of that stuff goes way back. It's all the same stuff. Same with these little guys here. Okay. Same stuff. And it was cut pretty thick because I was basically uh, easy access. Yeah. So I was able to handle it pretty well. And so I think we yeah. maybe we should just look at these taller, taller ones. We'll move all these ones out of the way. Let me grab this one. So. They got some figure actually. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's some pretty cool patterns in them. The, uh, Take a look at the edge. If you noted that uh, pallet of really thick wood that was at the big door, mm -hmm. that's the same stuff as well. Okay. The pallet outside here. That stuff there. Oh yeah. And all of this stuff up against the wall, that's all from the same tree. That's all it, wow, so yeah. you got a lot from that tree. Uh, it was, when I got there, the pile was about four cars parked next to each other big. It was massive. <laughs> okay, so so that was a lot. That was probably one of the longest jobs I've done. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, is these this guys. dry? Well, it's, it was down for years. Apparently the tree okay. was standing dead. So like okay. it was it was pretty, I mean, when I was milling it, the dust, I can usually tell if it's soft yeah. and wet or not. Yeah. And it was coming out pretty nice and dry. Okay. It, it was definitely not like heavy and I was able to move these things around no problem. So. Yeah. So all this would have to go to get kiln dried, I think, Dylan. Yeah. You probably want to finish it off. I don't think it'd be yeah. too far off. Yeah, but, but are uh, you saying it's likely about 16? I'm gonna 20? say, yeah, it's it's probably close to ambient now. I mean, the guy that actually took one, mm -hmm. he said he brought it into his shop, he left it in there for a few weeks, and it yeah. was down to like 12 or something. And that's like he did a full epoxy on it, okay. and did a bar top. Oh, nice. Send me a picture. It looks beautiful. Okay. Yeah, you want to really take? Comes out. Good yeah, part I think of this we one, should. Dylan, this yeah. looks pretty funky. I like it when it's rough on both sides. Yeah. Because even if you send something that's been planed to a kiln. Then the kiln dries differently on the two faces, right? Yeah. So it's nice to have that even texture. These are beautiful. So let me get Kay. the tape measure. Oh, and these are maple. Yep. All right, so I think we're gonna take a little chunk of that maple log. So here's the stack so far. We got our elm. We got a bunch of decayed maple here. Really, really cool grain in there. And then inside, I think the boys are just around the corner checking out some other pieces. Oh, we're also gonna pick this thing up. So this is like a, I don't even know how thick. Let's see how thick it is. One second. So this thing is close to eight inches thick. Um, it's an elm. We're probably gonna do this as a single pour. We just could not yeah. say no. That is too cool. There was some cool other slabs in that far back, or those right there. Uh, These. So that front one there is part of that maple. This? Oh, that's walnut. That's pretty cool. That's kiln dried. There's a bunch of, so that's probably the biggest of the walnut that I've got. That's the English? And, uh, uh, no, this one's black walnut from what I was told, but I'm not actually sure. It was brought to me by an arborist. Okay. And then I milled it up and we shared. Uh, as far as I know, that one's black and then that is English. And then the other small pieces up there were English from Penticton. And then all the rest of this stuff is from there too. That's black walnut. So okay. I, I was just told that that's what it was. I'm not really sure it into the tree. But it does look quite black walnutish to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's that one big piece there. There's another piece beside it. It's pretty all over the place, though. I think there's one more tucked in behind. And then all of these ones here, there's these two, and then there's two more, and they're actually the sides. Mm -hmm. So you guys are getting uh, keen on some of the side pieces. So we could dig through there and yeah. see if there's anything in there to find, because, um, yeah, there's some interesting ones there. Yeah, so we're just trimming this guy up so it fits better on the, the trailer. It's like laser flat. Yeah. So Not bad for a freehand yeah, cut. Free look at the color coming out. Like this is nothing oh, yeah, compared to what's yeah. really gonna be in there. Yeah, look at Dude, that. that is just unbelievable. There's this a whole big streak all through. Going right all here. through? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, the whole cookie yeah. is just nuts. Yeah, it's it's got so much color through the center of it. 
I mean, if you look at this other slab here, right, this one, that's the end of it. So that orange there, and it's just, oh. And this has been surfaced for a while already, hey? Oh yeah, yeah. So well, that yeah. color's staying pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. And I'm uh, sure it was even more. You can just see the fire in the way. Wow. Yeah, it looks like it's on fire. I love that. That's so pretty. What's that one of the nicknames for that? It's Flame Maple? Flame, it's yeah. Aptly named. Yeah. Good, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite toys. This is a chainsaw, but it's a special kind of chainsaw. It works when you do this. You pull a trigger, <laughs> no starting, no asphyxiation, no mixing gas, none of that. And it works like a hot dam. Let's it's see amazing. this thing. That's yeah. a nice little toy. Uh, yeah, and it works amazing. Now scale that up. Just think, how good could this be? Yeah. It's a little bit bigger with a little bit more power. So DeWalt, if you're watching, I have a project in mind. <laughs> well, you made your, you're Mr. Electric Car. Why don't you make a custom chainsaw? Shh. <laughs> that might be the plan. That That's might be exactly next. It. You guys saw my electric car? Yeah, I like to do things big. Well, I like that. I just want more of them. Dude, that Imagine would be insane cool. if you did that. Uh, if I did that, it's a matter of when. Okay. And you're going to help me with that. Okay, so man. We're loading the trailer now. Yeah. That's what I think we should do is put Getting two our of these elm ones, right? here. Two of those guys? Yeah, two of those. Unless a little better than this one. Yeah, but these are longer made. Yeah, those are too long. Yeah, okay, then it's this one. Yeah. This is what we got most of our elm on so far. Got some pine. This is another piece of that elm. Yeah, this is the match to it right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Super cool stuff. Stay flush to the back here. Stay flush on the back. So we got a bit more to go, and trying to, I'm trying to then I think we're, I think we're heading off cliff diving later. So this is, I think we calculated this out. We got about 1,100 board feet of lumber in here. Oh, this is exciting. Got the truck all loaded up. There's the trailer back there with all of our wood on it. So now it is time to head on back to Calgary. Um, really good trip overall. You know, we, we can't thank Jerry enough and his family for everything they did for us while we were here and we are definitely gonna be back soon.